Hi there everyone, my name is Caitlin, welcome to my channel, and today we are going to be uh, reviewing The Voyage of the Argo by Apollonius of Rhodes? I do not know how to say his name, but anyways, um, I gave this book a 4 out of 5 stars. This review will have no spoilers in it. So I actually came up on this book from a bookshelf where I was watching, I forgot who it was from. But when I saw it was about Jason's quest for the Golden Fleece, I immediately remembered what book series? The book is basically about the Argonauts' quest for the Golden Fleece. It's pretty much that simple. It's set up in four books and it's just following the crew on their quest. There were a few major themes in this book that I really liked. One of those was bravery because the crew knew that they needed to go and do this quest. They just, it, it was theirs and uh, Athena and, and everyone kind of came together to assemble this crew to make it the crew that it needed, I guess, that the Argo needed. They had to give a huge sacrifice. Sacrifice was a huge uh, theme in this book because back in the time that this was written, um, the, the people always gave sacrifices to the gods and in order to have a good journey out or a good uh, docking, you kind of needed Apollo's help. So you would create a sacrifice for the god Apollo and that was constantly in this like Apollo was their patron for this journey even though it seemed like Athena helped them more but you know and technically only one of them knew that they were going to die before they went on the quest um, but things happen and destiny happens and a major theme of this book is you can't fight destiny and I think that's just a huge theme in all of the Greek and Roman myths is that you can never really fight your destiny and I think that's a huge contrast to us currently because now we're like oh we shape our own destiny but the Greeks were like our destiny is already paved in front of us and if we try to go against it it's going to end badly for us um, so I love that kind of contradiction between now and then. Earlier that I read the Heroes of Olympus series before reading uh, The Voyage of the Argo. Because of reading that series I kind of thought Hercules was going to be this very prideful jerk, but he wasn't. Hercules was actually very humble and he gave the leadership of the quest to the right leader. Jason is the leader of this quest and Hercu Heracles, Hercules, however you want to say it. I actually prefer Heracles. I'm just used to Heroes of Olympus. But Heracles is very humble in this book and he knows that his destiny is not to lead the Argo but is to fight with the men of the Argo. Interesting thing about this book that's not really normal to us um, is this is written as it's being spoken as someone is telling you the story. He, Apollonius, is telling us his story, his interpretation of, and his people's interpretation of Jason and the Golden Fleece. It will be passed down for generations and generations to get to Apollonius, which I found really cool. Um, at some points it was kind of hard to uh, read, uh, because of that, but it was also very interesting. With every book review, I want to give at least one quote that I loved from all the books that I read this year. And the quote that I'm choosing for this book, I'm going to pick up my notes for this. We are like birds trapped in the wide net of destiny. And here we're talking about how you can't really escape your fate. We can never escape the harpies. This we, we have our set path that we should follow, that the universe, the fates have set for us, and if we do not follow what we truly believe in and we try to change the outcome of something that we've learned that we probably should not have learned, then it will all end badly. Um, and no one can escape their fate and no one can escape death, and I think that's a major theme in all of Greek and Roman literature. 
If you've read the Iliad and the Odyssey and you really liked it, you should read this because it's very well written. If you are afraid of the Iliad and the Odyssey, you should read this as kind of a gateway into it because now I've found reading the Iliad is a bit easier after getting through this book. And if you like the Heroes of Olympus series by Rick Riordan, pick this book up. Possibly. If you want to learn the actual tale of Jason and the Golden Fleece, just know that this reading level is quite a bit higher than that of the Heroes of Olympus. Um, if you take it slow, that's good. This took me about four days to get through and it's only... It's actually less than 200 pages. Yeah, it's less than 200 pages of actual text. But it took me four days to get through, so eh, it it was it was worth the time that I put into this. So yes, thank you guys so much for watching this kind of rambly review, and I will see you guys next time.